hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm so glad you came back for another video today and i know there is a lot of new subscribers since my last video so a warm welcome to you as well i'm glad you stopped by and decided to stick around and so i hope you enjoy the content on my channel so for today's video we are going to be doing part one um, of a bedroom makeover that i've been wanting to do for a while and just um, been putting it off because it's kind of our guest bedroom and it's also where I do all my sewing so it's not like it's really needed to be done you know right away um, and it was okay before there was nothing wrong with it but it just needed a makeover so we're gonna be get started with that today and today is mostly just gonna be painting um, that type of thing and then we'll go from there so like I said there's a lot of new subscribers um, than there was in my last video. And I thank you so much for joining again. Thank you for all your uh, beautiful, sweet comments. I enjoy reading through them all. And just, um, yeah, it's just, it's encouraging to me to hear all your comments and your sweet thoughts. But with that being said, there were also a lot of very negative um, and degrading comments. And which is kind of sad actually. Um, that people would write those things, you know, for everyone to see, but it's just how it is. And as soon as I seen those comments, I did just take them off of my channel because I do not want anything like that here. Um, I'm just not going to tolerate it. It's just not necessary to um, write those kind of comments, and it's just not what I want on my channel. Now, constructive criticism is one thing. Um, yeah, I will definitely take any of that that you have. I'll probably, you know, remove those as well, but I'll at least read them. And yeah, I want to know what you have and what you think of my channel. So with that being said, let's get on into the bedroom makeover. And I hope you enjoy. Alright, so here is what the bedroom is looking like right now. Um, I just stripped the bed because I wanted to wash the bedding anyways. And it's just in need of a good paint coat um, and I'm also going to be painting the trim because it wasn't painted properly before and just try to rearrange some things and get it looking refreshed and new again um, and yeah we'll see how it goes clearly um, we haven't been doing much in this room this is still up from last Christmas so this is just a good shot of how it is before and I didn't paint anything in this room. This is how it was when we bought the house. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to go around the whole room and just pull out all of the nails that were in the walls. There were a lot of them. So this yeah just go around and take out all the holes and then also screw out these things that were in the walls these were pretty easy to take out just um, get a Phillips head screwdriver and just unscrew them and then now I'm just gonna go ahead and patch up all those holes that I um, just made with this plaster patch stuff and this works pretty well and so yeah this is just some of the prep work it just takes a little bit of time but it definitely needs to be done before you start painting And I'm also going to go ahead and take down the curtain rods because I want to move the curtains up towards the ceiling. So we're going to take out these brackets as well and then patch those holes so that they're um, nice and flat because, yeah, the curtains won't go here um, again once the room is done. All right, and now we start sanding. I knew I was gonna have to sand down all of these walls here where these stripes are um, because there's just a little bit of a ridge there where all these stripes were taped and that is gonna show through on my top coat of the paint that I'm painting now. So I had to go around the whole room and just sand down all these stripes. Um, this was kind of a job, it took a while 
um, and then of course sanding down all those patched nail holes and stuff um, so yeah this took a little bit of time and it was quite dusty um, yeah and this red paint just went all over the place as you can see but it eventually got done and now I am just gonna go over all the walls with my wall mop get them all nice and clean um, the walls were pretty dirty after sanding and everything so this will just get them nice and clean before we start painting And then also I'm going to quickly go over all the baseboards and the trim and then just, yeah, just wipe these down as well. Um, they were still a little bit dusty and I want them good and clean because I'm going to paint the trim as well. And so first of all, being this is carpeted in here, I'm going to have to tape off all this carpet. And the best way that I've found to do that is just take your tape and actually um, push it down underneath the trim and make it stay underneath the trim. This way you can paint all the way down to the carpet uh, without getting it on the carpet. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm just taping it off really well, making sure all the tape is underneath the trim um, so that yeah, it's mess free and I don't have to worry about getting it on the carpet. And also, of course, before you start painting, I'm just going to remove all these um, outlet plates and things to get it all prepped and ready to go. So now before we start with the painting, I just wanted to share with you this video today is in collaboration with a company called Drops. Um, this is a very affordable and safe and more healthy way to do your laundry. Um, if that is something that's interested interesting to you I think um, you will like this product drops has reached out to me and asked if I would share their products with you um, I've been using them for the past week or so and I really like everything so far so they sent me the laundry soap and also the dishwasher soap it comes in this pretty box here which is 100% compostable and recyclable um, the scent that I chose was the citrus scent which smells just a nice, clean, and fresh scent. Um, they also have fresh scent, clean scent, lavender eucalyptus. And for those of you with sensitive skin or allergies, or if you have babies or infants in your house, they also have a unscented one as well, which is awesome. Um, and each pod will wash up to 25 pounds of laundry. So um, if you do a lot of laundry, that would be great for that. Um, if you don't do lots of like lar large loads of laundry, they also have a convenient small load pod as well. Um, you could either make a one-time purchase or try the subscription service and save like up to 30%, which is great. Um, this can be modified, paused, or canceled at any time. The laundry pods can be purchased for as little as 22 cents a load. Um, which is pretty incredible and they're also compatible with all types of washers the HE standard front loading top loader whatever you have um, they are free of dyes chlorine phosphates and optical brighteners they're tough on dirt and gentle on the skin they're also formulated with a plant-based ingredient um, and will fight your stains and the odors and for those extra tough and dirty clothes, Drops also carries the Oxy Booster Pods. Um, these will remove all those tough stains, eliminate odors, and whiten your whites. And if that's not enough, Drops also carries a Fabric Softener Pod, um, which I have some in their fall scent. And, but they also carry these in the Clean Scent, Lavender Eucalyptus, Orange Blossom, and of course the Unscented as well. And another thing that Drops carries, which um, I got a little pack of those today, is the dishwasher pods. Um, these come in lemon scent or unscented, 
and with the subscription service you can get these for around 20 cents per wash which is pretty um, amazing as well so I'm always looking for better ways to um, better my cleaning products and this is one product that I don't mind having around um, it's just a good clean product and I will be sure to have all the links and everything in the description box that you need um, so I hope you go over and give drops a try now back to the painting so the first thing that we're going to get started on we're going to paint the trim and this is just a nice satin white that I got um, I think I got it in Lowe's I believe um, but just yeah their trim and door uh, paint was what I got in the satin finish and I just use a disposable cup for um, painting it's just easier to hold and yeah it's disposable so I'm gonna start here with the trim and as you can see there the trim was just not painted very well so it just needed a good coat um, and I did go over it with two coats of paint and I'm not gonna really be careful with um, not getting paint on the walls because I'm going to paint the walls anyway so this should go pretty fast because I don't really have to be careful too much um, the carpet side is taped off and then the top side it doesn't really matter if I get some on the walls or not so we're going to go ahead and get this painted with two coats and then we'll start on the walls and as I was painting this it was um, later at night everyone kids were in bed and it was so peaceful I had the windows open it was so beautiful outside and I couldn't help but just let you listen to the beautiful night sounds that I was hearing it was so pretty outside I just had to go outside and just take it in a little bit Okay, and now once the paint had dried, now this was obviously a little while later, um, I made sure the paint was all dried so when I tore off the tape that um, no wet paint would be able to get on the carpet again. Um, so I'm just going to take off all the paint or the tape all the way around the room and see what it looks like. Now for the wall color. Um, this is nebulous white is the color and this was also from Lowe's and I know it looks pretty much white but it's not um, it's a little bit different than the trim color so we're just gonna get started here with the um, trimming um, going around all the trim work and the baseboards and then around the ceiling and then we will start with the rolling and just fair warning guys I don't get the cheap paint I did and I totally regretted it um, it took at least two coats and some of it like where those stripes were I had to go over three or four times to get it to cover correctly so just buy paint that will cover um, this was just yeah it was my mistake to go with some cheaper paint um, I should have known better but I did and yeah it just takes a little bit longer to paint it did cover eventually but it just definitely takes longer and more coats and I did also end up running out of paint so probably if I would have had more of expensive paint I would have had enough for this room but anyways so it goes um, we'll just go back and get more paint to finish it up then once um, I have time
right and now it is lunchtime so the children were getting a little tired of me just working in the bedroom so we decided to make a little picnic lunch take it outside and just enjoy the beautiful day it was so lovely outside on this day and it's just refreshing to just sit outside a little bit. I don't do this often enough and I don't really know why. It's so easy to just take our lunch outside if we want to. So um, we just took a blanket out and, and the children enjoyed it so much. This is always so much fun for them. And of course our little puppy, he wanted to join as well. He's always so curious about everything. <laughs> So we just had a very simple lunch. I made some quesadillas really quick, um, just some monster cookies and then some bananas and then some sliced cheese. And so after lunch, Chloe actually went down for a nap. And so me and Jameson are going to be working here with the rolling. Um, Jameson, he liked to watch. And um, yeah, so we're going to start with the rolling. Now this is really where uh, it makes a room look different. It just shows you what the color is going to be like. And so far, I really like this color. It's just a beautiful uh, white color. Alright, and now here on this back wall, I'm just measuring a little bit with the tape measure because I'm going to be doing something here on the bottom, so I just needed to measure how far down I needed to paint. And here is the first coat and you can see how well it covered. Um, you can definitely still see those stripes. So I did go over it with a second coat and then um, over it three or f I forget kind of three or four times I think over the stripes to get it um, covered like it needs to be. And here is how it looks all covered um, with the second coat and it's still kind of wet as you can see. But here on the back wall like I said I'm going to be doing something different down there on the bottom so I just left that the way it was. 
and here's where I ran out of paint. Um, it wasn't much to do yet, so it shouldn't take long to get that finished. Alright, now for this back wall, I'm going to be measuring up um, here from the trim and then just going to be connecting my dots here to make a straight line all the way across the back wall here. And I set up my headboard there to kind of see how far up I wanted this line to be. So there you can see the line that I did and I'm not going to tape this line I'm just going to try to paint it a little kind of carefully. So this is the color that is going to be for that back wall. It's just a beautiful nice navy blue color and here is the sticker on top of the can. So we're going to just start painting here um, over here on this side. And once I started painting, I realized I was going backwards. Um, I, I don't know how you are, but I like to paint a certain way. So I went over on the other side of the room and started painting from left to right. And just painting down um, along the trim work and then also on the top. Again here as we start rolling it just shows you again really how the color is look is gonna look once it's done and I really like this color it's just a nice dark color it's not too much for this room um, it just brings in enough color um, that it gives it some character and yeah I like this dark blue color Alright, and here is how it looks after one coat of paint. Alright, and here it is after two coats of paint. Um, the paint is still a little bit wet, but this just shows you a little bit how it's going to be looking. And I am definitely not done with that blue wall back there, so stay tuned. For the next video, you won't want to miss what I did um, with that wall back there. I know you'll enjoy seeing um, how I finished this room out, so stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm going to leave you with that, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!